Have you ever asked anyone how big their love was? This is a story about a little boy that asks his grandpa how big his love is. Grandpa, how big is your love? Hunter loved exploring and asking questions. He wanted to know how everything worked. One day he sat down next to his grandpa and his grandpa said, I love you, Hunter. Hunter was curious. How much do you love me, Grandpa? A lot, said Grandpa. What does that mean, Hunter asked. Grandpa picked him up and placed him in his big brown shoes. My love for you will last for a long, long time. I will love you longer than I've loved my best pair of shoes, he said. Hunter touched the worn down leather shoes. Then he wrinkled his nose and said, but Grandpa, your shoes are old and smelly. Grandpa grinned. But Hunter wasn't satisfied. Grandpa thought a little more. I know, my love is bigger than the biggest fish you ever caught. Hunter dashed into his room and came back out with a picture of a teeny silver trout he had caught on a fishing trip. Like this, Grandpa? Grandpa shook his head. The fish was too small, much too small to be compared to Grandpa's love. Sitting on the couch, Grandpa thought a little harder. He looked out the window. My love for you is as bright as the sun, he said. Hunter ran up to the window and stared straight at the sun. His eyes burned and he covered them with his hands. Grandpa, he cried, the sun hurts my eyes. Then the sound of a garbage truck rumbled outside the house. Grandpa took Hunter's hand and they headed out the door. They watched the truck as it growled and boomed dumping trash into the compactor. My love for you is as loud as the garbage truck, Grandpa shouted. The truck roared and screeched. Hunter hid behind Grandpa. The sound of things being smashed and broken scared him. After the scary noise of the trash truck, Grandpa left in his little car and returned a short time later with a large can of helium and a very large balloon. He filled the balloon and let it rise toward the sky. See how high the balloon will fly. That is just like my love for you. But suddenly, pow! The balloon was broken by a sharp pine needle on the branch of a tall tree. A big tear formed in Hunter's eye. Back in the house, Grandpa had one last plan. Hunter, have you ever climbed a mountain, he asked. Hunter shook his head. He had never even seen a mountain and he wondered if they were very big. Tomorrow I will show you how much I love you, said Grandpa. What do you mean, asked Hunter. Grandpa winked. Wait and see. The next morning, Grandpa and Hunter piled into the car. They were going to climb the Blue Ridge Mountains in Tennessee. When they came to the foot of the mountains, Hunter looked up. The mountain was covered with fog and he could only see trees in front of him. He shook his head. The mountain doesn't look very big, he said. But Grandpa smiled, took Hunter's hand, and started walking up a bumpy trail. They walked and walked up the winding path. Soon, Hunter's legs grew sore and his face became hot. He felt tired. Grandpa, will you carry me? This trail is very long. Grandpa smiled and said, yes, of course. Hunter climbed onto Grandpa's back. When they had almost reached the top, Grandpa stubbed his toe on a rock and fell. He scraped his hands and knees and they started to bleed. But Hunter landed on Grandpa's back and wasn't hurt at all. So they kept climbing. Finally, they reached the top. They stopped and looked around. The fog had cleared. The wind bellowed around their ears. The sun lit up the mountain ridge and Hunter could see how long and wide and bright everything looked from that distance. Then Grandpa stood tall with his arms outstretched and said, look how big my love for you is. Hunter nodded. Grandpa, your love is big. But Hunter was not looking at the mountain when he said this. He was looking at Grandpa's scraped hands and knees. Hunter hugged his Grandpa. Grandpa had carried him when he was tired and protected him from getting hurt when they fell. Now he understood what Grandpa meant when he said, I love you. And Hunter loved his Grandpa very much. Mm -hmm.